No, it moves. Okay, is there any immediate options? I guess not. Okay, I guess Windows is fine. Hmm. That'll work. Okay. Or uh, is it doing anything? Oh, oh! I had to hit the continue. Paper. The blight of fright continues with this kind of shitty TV. Adjust the brightness of the. How do I actually? Bedtime. Bedtime. Up. Oh. oh, are you already in? Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. While some children might complain about being put to bed before they finish watching a film or playing their favorite video game, when I was a child, nighttime was something to truly fear. Somewhere, in the back of my mind, it still is. Oh, it's an RPG. This is me. Can you move? Uh, there, there we go. Okay. In... So no mouse. It looks like. What's that poster? Poster from a movie I got from. Uh, I got it from my brother. Full of toys and stuff. Huh. First time playing an RPG horror. It's a wolf. Basically, what I did for like the Blight of Fright thing is I got like thirty games, forty games, and just have been drawing them at random. So that way, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is coming up, and Nick doesn't know either. Yeah, and another thing we're doing is if this is a long game, we're probably not going to be playing all the way through. We're probably going to be playing about an hour or so. We're going to give it a, an hour to finish. If it looks like it's getting close, we may go a little bit longer, but Depending, we'll try to defend it yeah. shit within an hour. All right, and day two, Blight of Fright, start. Go go go. I cannot prove what that what happened to me was objectively real, but I can swear that what I experienced was genuine horror. I fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equaled. I will relate it to you all now as best as I can, make of it what you will. But I'll be glad just to get it off my chest. My empty chest. Oh no, I'm going back it up. <laughs> I'm married it. Plant. I'll put these here. <laughs> the brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we had both shared until then. Get out, you little shit lord. Picture of some mountains. Oh, that was very pretty. Hey, dad, mom, brother, person. Dodge. <laughs> Picture of a man standing around. I think it was dad when he was younger. Didn't ask. <laughs> See you later, shit lord. I can't remember exactly when it started. But my apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with being my being moved into a room of my own. Ah, uh, classic being alone for the first time. <laughs> Later, moms. This, this is my father. Now this is the story about how my life got turned upside down. Fuck, I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Or better yet, I'm your father. I'm your father. I'm your father. I'm your father. Luke, use the force. Uh, shoes, not very interesting. Take off your shoes. Mother! Sup, moms? Okay. Mom told me not to touch her stuff, especially this stuff. Huh. Nothing too interesting. Oh, okay. Can so you get in their bed like, no, no, I'm sleeping here tonight. Into the closet! Uh, boxes. boxes full of stuff. Ventilation, I think mom said it is, I don't know. Man with a mustache, is it Ron Burgundy? It better be. I'm more than a man, I'm an anger man. Just a bunch of clothes in here. Okay, so that's gonna be the safe closet. Okay, yeah. I was eight years old at the time, and until then, I had shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given a room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk beds, which we used to share. While I was upset about having to sleep on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk, which seemed far more adventurous to me. I used to have bunk beds, but then I kept on falling off the top and hurting myself <laughs> <laughs> over and over again. Did you ever remember that? <laughs> yeah, I injured myself a couple times. I had one time where I got scarred along the leg because there was like a wooden like corner of a cabinet where I just like... I fell out somehow and I cut myself. I honestly and, don't remember that. And then there was another time when I fell out. I don't know if it was just I was a shitlord little child or what, but yeah, that happened a lot. <laughs> Do -do -do. Get out of the way, dads. No, wait, what's that in there now? Is that your brother or is that a flower plant? No, that's a flower pot. 
<laughs> Talk to brother... the flower pot. Hey, Mr. Flower Pot. I already did. Then break into your brother's room. Go on Come out, asshole. It's, it's locked, locked, stupid bro. bro. Why did I say that? <laughs> I'm a man of justice. My muscles are a true room. justice, old man. Oh, yeah, time to sleep and have horror nightmares. Now! Yes. Yo, moms. I spent time. Already? No, your mom. Oh. <laughs> you asked adults need their sleep, you see. You'll be sleeping for the first time. Alone. In the dark. Alone. Without your brother. Good night! <laughs> You're excited? Uh, yeah, mom. Mom. So hype. I don't know, he's dressed in like a weird kind of school uniform. Reminds like me of like a, a 17 1800 like schoolboy. <laughs> like a, well, there's posters and stuff. Like m Midwestern school or something. I guess. Alright, turn off the lights! Good turn night. off the lights! Like in the 1980s or something. 1980s, 1990s. Yeah, good night! Well, I guess that corresponds with the time of this. Oh, you say that. Good night! P -p Passing out. And. Cave! Ooh. Ooh. Chapter 1 Cave. Well, save would probably be the best way to start it off. I miss it saving time. Oh shit, I'm in the forest. Mushrooms! Mushroom! Mushroom! Badger, 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 badger. What the hell's this zombie? Is that a bird? Uh, Looks I like a bird man. Yes. Bird ignore, man, bird man. Ig ignore the bird man. Huh. Can I go into the swamp? A small water hole. The water is dirty. Probably not a good idea to drink it. Huh, that thing on top of the roof looks interesting. Hey, bro, you look pretty sweet. You're not going to kill me, are you? I'm probably going to end up killing you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> So now we can either go right of the house or into the house. I know, it didn't seem to let me go to the house itself. Oh, you can actually... Yeah, oh, right, there, there you it go. is, okay. I had to go to the bottom. So you can go into it? Okay, into it we go. Ooh. Oh, you came out of a fucking skull? That, that, uh, the skull of, like, the queen alien from Aliens. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, a pot and some ragged cloth. Yeah, that looks like the aliens, like the uh, the big mama queen. Yeah, for some reason it reminded me of the bird thing that eats you in Super Mario 2. I guess it's because he came out of a door. I wonder what's cooking. Oh my god, it's me! Good looking. Ha 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 Every now and then we'll have spooky sounds. Ooh. A randomly added in. Those aren't airplanes, no. Hmm. What's up, Mr. Painting Man? Oh, i never seen a gif in real life before. <laughs> Stalking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it as... Intense research on one individual. <sighs> By the way, your missing sock is underneath your bed with me. Are you a monster or a pedophile? Just kidding. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> so, can I have my sock back? <laughs> a cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Let's find out. Down we go. Clunk, clunk. Oh, this is... Ooh, this is fantastic. What? Wait, wait, go back. What's that thing? Straight up? Yeah. Weird mushroom. Looks poisonous. Okay. Better eat it. Oh, wait. there's a thing shiny. What's that twinkling shit? Oh, you can't wait. go back. No, uh, not allowed to even touch it. More mushrooms? And more sparkling. Maybe that's just a general fact there? I think so. More mushrooms. I wonder if we're gonna have a need for any of these mushrooms later on. Definitely, Definitely poisonous. <laughs> yeah, these are the ones that are poisonous, poisonous, poisonous. Whoa, was that the painting? No, that was just like the um, walkway giving out, um, giving away. Oh, I bet that one's not poisonous. In fact, that was the least poisonous. poisonous. Oh, dang it! Why is all my cool mushrooms poisonous? Hmm. We can go that way. Dead end. Nothing. Okay, then the other way. Okay, so noted, if needed to run, go up, not final left. Ooh. That's some sort of 
weird. That looked like some sort of like four-faced monster thing. I think there was a sprint button. <laughs> shift. I think it. Shift. I already did shift, but it didn't do anything. Okay. Maybe it only does it in key moments, or maybe it's locking it now. Oh, there you go. Uh, last one does a couple of middle ones. That does. Actually, let me see if that one does it back. Two in. Cause then. Those are like. Oh god. <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? No, no, it's the three last. Okay. okay. So this one changes the first two and the last one. That one changes the. Uh, did that change the last one or not? The third and fourth one, I think. Third and fourth. Um, third and fifth. Uh, okay, you know I'm not gonna be able to keep track of this properly. Just mash him, mash him. I'm gonna force it. For brute, brute force it. I hope it makes a recognition sound, cause we can't see the shit. Rock okay, on. So that does that. Yeah! I did it! Brute force. Yeah. Okay. Prepare. Be prepared to run. Hey look, more poisonous mushrooms. You should say hi to the poisonous mushrooms. Maybe these are the good mushrooms. Can I eat these? No. Mm, more li red liquid. Red, red wine. Uh, chug it. I'm sure this is wine. Run, bitch, run! I like how it's coming from both directions. I wonder if there's more than one. Oh, there's like thousands. <laughs> Is that what? like a spider head? I don't know. It almost looked like a s weird, like, shrunken, not shrunken, um. <laughs> That's the opposite of shrunken. Skinny woman's face. It what's, looks like a woman's face. What's the face? words? What? Oh. Oh. For a second that was freaky. What's the word I'm thinking about for skinny? Shrunk, not, sh that's why I said shrunken earlier. Ooh. Keep going! Keep going, sprint if possible! Oh, Jesus! Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, going, going! Oh. Oh, God. Oh! Why couldn't I run? Maybe you couldn't? Is that in the net one? Up. Uh, ended Nightmare 1, maybe? Me! I had a pretty shit dream! Mom! I had a Fuck! Fuck, <laughs> okay, there's gonna be migraine. <laughs> Knew I should have jumped last night. God fucking damn it, Mom! I shit the bed! <laughs> God damn it, not again. <laughs> me! <laughs> oh, I had a bad dream. I had a bad dream. That's too bad, sweetie. Today you're skipping over it. Why are you doing that? Oh. Alright, uh, hurry up. <laughs> Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Wait, which one are you voicing now? Do you want to voice the mom? No, I, I like, you, you keep on you're switching between- You're skipping over the mom, so I wasn't sure. I know, but you keep on, like, switching in between- I like... will do you the kid, okay? Okay. Go change your voice- Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Don't change your voice. Uh, or we technically did change her voice. <laughs> Dad. Dad, wake up. I have to wake up Dad, too. <laughs> just punch Dad. Classic Dad. <laughs> he just, like, never wakes up. I don't give a shit. What? No, we... Uh, what's the other room? We never... Is that, like, the kitchen? I guess that's... That's probably gonna be, like, a kitchen or something. That's the sister's room. I guess go back to bed. The dead sister. She's dead. You feel bad now? My mom. My dead mom. And so another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. And that was my voice. I won't bother you with the details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, somehow I still felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time to go to sleep again. That was my voice, but whatever. Look at the giant green arrow shouting at you to get into the bed. Hey kid, get into the bed! Get in me! 
Maybe you should sleep in the bottom bunk. Maybe the top one was haunted. Ah! Darkness and prisoning me! Hold on a Chapter 2 Labyrinth. Labyrinth? Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Well, here we are. In the dark alley. Oh god, something's gonna be chasing us, isn't it? Well, you do have a sprint button. Aww. Aww. <laughs> eh, you fucked it. Dang. <laughs> Look, there's a smiley face. Aw. Does that thing say anything? No, I guess not. Uh, I'm always Is that wrong. the right one? Okay, so top left. Do I have to like do it in an order? That's what it looks like. Okay, top left, bottom right. Wait, is it smiling when it changes? Huh. No, I think the bottom right was still. Okay, so top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left. Simple puzzles! There we go. Some kind of machinery. Some kind of machina. Oh good, we unleashed the beast. You do have the sprint, right? Uh, it doesn't look like there's an actual sprint thing, it's just like running. You lied to me, read me. What is that? No, go left. There. Oh. Ooh, that's not good. Oh. I wish it would go away. It's kind of creeping me that it's kind of staying there. Oh, God. Oh, there he is. Where? Never mind, just run. There he is. Oh, God. It's really actually freaking me out that his face is staying there. Oh, God, I guess you're an auto sprint? God. Oh, thank God, there's a fan there. I'm sure glad I told you. Uh, I'm. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. I'm not liking this. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Does that mean he caught you when you hit the red thing and he's going to get... Don't touch that thing. Ugh, the face on the screen is freaking me out, man. Where am I supposed to go? I've been going in circles. Maybe just avoid it? It looks like it's slightly fading away. Get out. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to go to all the creepy things? Maybe, where was it? The bottom? Yeah, it was like to the right. Oh. Uh, no, yeah, go up and then right. I'm glad we're going to increase the rape monster's power. Oh, its eyes are like pulsating. It's getting bigger. Oh, yeah, okay. go back to him and see if that doesn't fix it. Oh, shit. Where? To your right. There. Okay, he's really like giving me fucking pimples. Uh, like, oh, really? God. Uh, God, I don't like how like he had to get exactly in it. Oh, to your right. Go right. Oh, there he is. Go right. He was there. I know, there was there a monster is. there. There's an. Oh god, this isn't Where? going well. Go there. Now there's another one. Go left. Uh, up. Left. All right, there's one. All right, down, left, down, left. Go up and left. Up, left, up, right, up. Oh god, there's one. Okay, now we need a. Oh, hi there. Oh, no, not like that. Did we win? Ugh. Yeah. I thought we did it right. When you awaken from a deep sleep. Tita, could you stop oh, that? Oh, sorry, something. It can take a few moments for you to truly understand what is happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears, even when lucid. Something was moving. There was no doubt about that. 
At first, I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark, almost pitch black, but there was enough light creeping in from outside to outline that room. Cat, is that you? Two thoughts appeared in my mind, almost simultaneously. The first thought was that my parents were in bed, because the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silence. The second thought turned to the noise, a noise which had obviously woken me. That was it. Bed sheets rustling in the dark and something breathing. I'm gonna start off with the guess. It's the brother underneath the bed and the bottom bunk sleeping. Probably. You're freaking me out, asshole. As if something disturb, uh, as if some disturb, disturb sleeper was attempting to get all too comfortable in the bottom bunk. I lay there in disbelief, thinking that the noise was either my imagination, or perhaps just my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to spend the night. I called it. <laughs> it was then that I noticed my door shut as it had been as I had fallen asleep. Perhaps my mom had checked in on me, and the cat had sneaked into my room then. That does sound like something the cat would do. Yes, that must have been it. I turned to face the wall, closing my eyes, in the vain hope that I could fall back to sleep. Just ignore your problems, man. <laughs> if I ignore my problems, <laughs> they'll all go away. That's not a horrifying monster. As I moved, the rustling from the noise, the rustling noise from underneath me ceased. I thought that I must have disturbed my cat. But quickly, I realized that the visitor in the bottom bunk, which mu was much less mundane than my pet trying to sleep, and much more sinister. As if alerted to, and disgruntled by my presence, the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum in the bed. I could hear the sheets twist and turn with increasing ferocity. Fear then gripped me, not like the subtle sense of unease that I had experienced earlier, but now potent and terrifying. My heart raced as my eyes panicked. Scanning the almost impenetrable darkness, I let out a cry. As most young boys do, I instinctively shouted out at my mother. I could hear something stir on the other side of the house. But, as I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me, the bunk bed suddenly started to shake violently, as if gripped by an earthquake, scraping against the wall. I could hear the sheets below me thrashing around as if tormented by malice. I did not want to jump down to the safety as I reached, as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me. Pulling me into the darkness, so I stayed there, white knuckled, clenching down my blanket like a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? Shat myself again. <laughs> God damn it. I cried as my mother consoled me. Tears of fear, followed by relief, streamed down my face. Why do you always gotta shit yourself? <laughs> At this point, just sleep with your fucking kid if you're having night terrors twice in a row. Or just sleep with the lights on, goddamn. Yet, through all the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was upset. Well, obviously the parents should still fucking, like, okay, are you having night terrors, kid? I cannot explain it, but it was as though whatever had been in that bunk would return if I ever even so much as spoke of it. Whether that was the truth, I did not know. But as a child, I felt that as if the unseen malice remained close, listening. My mother lay in the empty bunk, promising to stay there until morning. Ah, so it is empty. I remember the next day, wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in that suffocating room. It was Saturday and I played outside, quite happily with my friends. Although our house was not large, we were lucky to have a long sloping garden in the back. We played there often, as much of it was overgrown as and we could hide in the bushes. Climb in the huge sycamore tree, which towered above all else, and easily imagine ourselves in the throw of a grand adventure. 
As fun as it all was, occasionally, my eye would turn to the small window in my room, ordinarily slight and innocuous. But for me, that thin boundary was a looking glass into a strange cold pocket of dread. This was a really articulate eight-year-old. Pretty damn articulate. Outside, the lush green surrounding of our garden filled with the smiling faces of my friends. Inside, the feeling of something in that room, watching me play, waiting for the night when I'd be alone, eagerly filled with hate. The kid? <laughs> <laughs> uh, stupid brother. Lantern, you're a dick. It may have sounded strange to you, but by the time my parents ushered me back into that room for the night, I said nothing. I didn't protest. I didn't even make an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. I still felt that this thing would be enraged if I so much as spoke of it. Another night came. Chapter 3. Factorized Eyes. Factorized Eyes. Factorized. I wonder if it's going to be as creepy as the last one. That oh, was, hey Satan. Well, that one's not as bad. The fucking thing over the screen overlay was freaking me out. That was pretty fucking, yeah, like... The overlay was just, like, just staring. That was pretty good. Hey, right, this place looks familiar. Better go deeper. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, hey Satan. Hey, this place looks familiar. Better go deeper. If I let you suck on my toes for a little bit, will you go away? <laughs> Cause you're sticking right on me underneath my feet. This place looks familiar. Better go on through the next door. Oh, it's getting faster. Could you not interact with the door you came in from? This place looks familiar. <laughs> mm. Strobing lights. <laughs> It's a real classy party. Better go further on to the next door. Nothing cl Ain't no party like a Satan party. Familiar. Next door. <laughs> okay, this is a garbage dream. Familiar. Next door. Uh. Ah, next door! Well, hey, Satan. Well, oh, fuck. guys, another labyrinth is gonna be chasing me. What is this garbage? What? Help. Or hello, rather. Oh, god, it's another maze I have to run through. Please don't do another stupid Freddy thing. Not Freddy thing, I don't what? know why I said Freddy. Wait, what's that door? Oh, switches. switches. Oh, good, something's gonna try to kill me while I do the switches. Hi, Satan, could you please fuck off? Oh, hi. Oh, good, he's back. A picture of some... You keep skipping over that shit. Yeah, because the thing is there. Oh, good. Don't touch on the blood. Something, something, are you? The Ooh. fuck is that? No, 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 no. Oh, hi there. Oh, it's trapped in there. Are you fucking releasing these things? That would be horrifying. But duly noted, there's a thing over there, so I've done two of the switches. Guess I need to do two more. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if it was five for the pentagram. Okay, so there's another switch. I wonder if pentagram is going to be a common theme. Amongst all the games we play. Games, not games. Is that something that showed up? Nah. Oh, good. Huh? Yay! Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Uh, more creepy overlays. Ears clogged. I guess ears clogged would be a good idea. Look at that fucking creepy ass baby thing. Oh, God, stop. Stop. No, stop. Okay. Oh god. That is actually legitimately creepy. Okay, I got less creepy at the end though. Oh, Better run. 
Okay, now we have to do some other bullshit now. Looks like the lights on the oh, runway. Almost like an airport. Okay. Scary airports. Now there's gonna be this thing chasing after us, and we have to do some bullshit we have no idea. Oh god, my nipples are tightening in fright. Save me, Satan. Uh, Bottom is that mon time. yeah? Is that monster still in there? Mm, yes, it looks like it. Hey, bro, if you do me a solid, up? would you do yeah. me a solid and kill that other monster that's chasing me? Well, you have a monster death battle. Fight for my affection and my soul. <laughs> <laughs> there can only be one winner. I've already done this one. Maybe if I beatbox to the monster. Okay, <laughs> guess we're going up. Uh, does it have anything that's lined up in a certain direction? No, it just looks like it's randomly. Okay, so already been up here, right? Yeah. That one's been switched. Did you go to the right? It looks. I don't like know if I've been to the bottom right. Wait, if you go up, there's an area to the right, I think. I thought I've already been to oh, the right. Oh, is that a wall? Because it looks like if you go... Ooh. It looks like if you go directly right continuously from here. There. I think just... Uh, okay, that to connects back to the right area. I think I need to go to the bottom right. That looks like... Okay, that's the place where I said looks like an airplane. Is there no way further to the right? Oh. Go away, creepy face. There wasn't anything over there, right? Nope. Fuck that face in the floor. Fucking creepy ass face, go away. Okay, so go north then? Uh, still lights on in the highway. Um. Do I maybe have to do the switches in a certain order in order to unleash the beast? Oh god, that's probably it. Wait, can you press the switches a second time then? No? No, so, okay, so I am missing a switch somewhere. To the left? Hmm. Are you blank? There's a, something on the top wall, what does that say? Is it H O? Hmm. Is it tracking me by sound? I mean, is the sound the monster coming near? Hmm. That sounds like monster tracks. Hey, monster! I like you because I can see you. Until, you know, the gates drop down and then you eat me. But until then, you're cool. You're not a direct threat to my life. Okay, now it's just... Do I need to cut myself and get up on there? What the hell? Oh, oh no! Oh no, the horror! Okay. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hmm. This is going a little slow. Wait, did you go all the way east from there? I thought I did. No. Oh, nope. There it is. Oh, now the monster's been released. Okay, go back to St. Alter. That's the safety area. Go to the pentagram. Is it? I don't know. Did it get darker? Yeah, okay. I'm going to go down to that bottom left one. Monster song. Monster Senpai, save me from the other some monster. Hey, you save me. Okay, there we are. Left. What the fuck is that? Huh. Okay, maybe north now? Go back to the altar. What? Okay, yeah, uh, altar would be a good stop. Okay, now go west. Remember, there was one locked northwest. That's right. Oh god.
Was there any others? Those are the only ones I can remember off the top of my head. Oh god. Back to the altar. Uh, okay. Do we Gets miss back one? down south. Try to see if the monster's been out now. Uh, okay, looks okay. like it is. is there so the monster's blood? been released. Okay. Is it coming after me now? I don't know. Back to the pentagram of safety. <laughs> safety pentagram, save me. Hey, when you ain't got shit, uh, and you, you, you were, oh, there he is. Oh, fuck. Yay, I got you the safety pentagram. Hey, Zane. Or was it the bad pentagram? <laughs> was I not supposed to go there? <laughs> well, you escaped from the other thing? It's funny how certain words can remain hidden from your mind, no matter how blatant or obvious they are. One word came to me in that night, lying there in darkness alone, frightened, aware of the rotten change in the atmosphere. A thickening of the air as if something had displaced it. As I heard the first casual twist of the bed sheets below. The first anxious increase in my heartbeat at the realization that something was once again in the bottom bunk. That word. A word which had been sent into ex exile filtered up through my consciousness. Fear? Breaking free of all repression, grasping for air, screaming, etching, and carving itself into my mind. Ghost. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be something more terrifying. As this thought came to me, I noticed an un unwelcome visitor had ceased moving. The bedsheets lay calm and dormant, but they had been replaced by something far more hideous. The cat. A slow, rhythmic, Rasping bre uh, breath heaved and escaped from the thing below. I could imagine its chest rising and falling with each sordid, wheezing, and garbled breath. I shuddered and hoped beyond hope, all hope that it would leave without occurrence. The house lay as it had the previous night in a thick blanket of darkness. Silence prevailed, all but for the unseen perverted breath of my as yet unseen bunk me. I lay there terrified. I just wanted this thing to go, to leave me alone. What did it want? Then something unmistakably chilling transpired. It moved. It moved in a way different from before. When it threw itself around in the bottom bunk, it seemed unrestrained, without purpose, almost animalistic. For that thing lying there in the darkness, that thing which seemed intent on terrorizing a young boy, calmly and nonchalantly, sat up. Its labored breathing had become louder. Now only a mattress and a few flimsy wooden slates separated my body from the unearthly breath below. I lay there, my eyes filled with tears, a fear which mere words cannot relate to you or anyone else coursed through my veins. I would not have believed that this fear could have been heightened, but I was so wrong. I imagined what this thing looked like, sitting there, listening from below my mattress, hoping to catch the slightest hint that I was awake. Better to stay asleep? Otherwise the monsters can't get you? Imagination then turned to unnerving reality. It began to touch on the wooden slates which my mattress sat on. It seemed to caress them carefully running what I imagined to be fingers and hands across the wooden surface. Huh. Ah. Then, with great force, it prodded angrily between the two slates into the mattress. Even through the padding, it felt as though someone had viciously struck their fingers into my side. I let, in out, I let out an almighty cry, and the wheezing, shaking, and moving thing in the bunk below replied in kind by violently vibrating the bunk as it had done the night before. Small flanks of plate, uh, paint powdered onto my bed from the wall as the frame of the bed scraped along it, backwards and forwards. Once again, I was bathed in light, and there stood my mother, loving, caring, as she always was. With a comforting hug and calming words which eventually subsided my hysteria, 
Of course, she asked what was wrong, but I could not say, I dared not say. I simply said one word over and over and over again. Nightmare. Huh. This pattern of events continued for weeks, if not months. Night after night, I would awaken to the sound of wrestling sheets. Each time I would scream so as not to provide this abomination with time to prod and feel for me. With each cry, the bed would shake violently. Stopping with the arrival of my mother, who would spend the rest of the night in the bottom bunk. Seemingly unaware of the sinister force torturing her son lightly. Along the way, I managed to feign illness a few times and come up with other less than truthful reasons for sleeping in my parents' bed. But more often than not, I'd be alone for the first few hours of each night in that place. The room where the light was from outside did not sit right, alone with that thing. With time, you can become desensitized to almost anything, no matter how horrific. I had come to realize that, for whatever reason, this thing could not harm me when my mother was present. I'm sure the same would have been said for my father, that as loving as he was, waking him from sleep was almost impossible. <laughs> waking me, on the other hand, was no trouble at all, thanks to the nightmares. I swear to god it is a shit older brother. <laughs> Anger overload. Seriously, like, as the mom, I'd probably be, like, taking the kid to, like, a doctor. Because, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> or just, like, if your kid's having night terrors, like, legitimate night terrors that follow you when you wake up. Because that's what night terrors are. You wake up and you're still seeing the fucking horror. Then... I'd probably fucking take my kid or sleep with my kid or take my kid to a doctor or something because Jesus H. Christ. Save me, Jesus! Jesus H. Christ! Earthquake? Jesus! Jesus, take the wheel. Super Jesus! Well, hey, at least you're in a church. Ugh. The painted glass depicts a scene from the Bible. I can't even see that clearly. I can't see if there's something popping up on the overlay or not. It looks like there is some sort of overlay popping up. Oh, there's up. something... Is that anything or no? I don't know. Okay, oh. now we're in... Baby uh, room! Oh. We are in the fucking... Super basement. Another one. Barry's jars was disgusting stuff. Oh, whoa. That's pretty fucking metal. This is like sci-fi, what the hell? Why is Jesus keeping a fucking spaceship underneath his church? And now we're in a horror house. This place is much more tame compared to the previous place. What? Stop it. Down the stairs. Eee. Quick fall down the stairs. Wait, are those hung cats? Uh, yeah, those are cats hung by nooses. Huh. I was like, what is that shape? Well, dead end. What? Let me out, please. Oh, no way to go but forward. Oh. Well, here we are. Trapped in here forever alone. And eventually, something's gonna eat us. Let it eat Nick first. Let it eat Nick first. How about you quit? Please. Sounds like a tree is falling over. Up. Up. Here we go. Bye, world. Up, oh, is it still getting me? Okay, now go. Run, 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 run. That one has a mustache. Those are pretty cool babies. Cool, scary babies. Oh, that one's a surprise. Your mouths are fucking closing. There's the mustache one again. Oh, they are closing. I was wondering what that sound was. Pop. Pop. Maybe go Pop. forward, then backtrack? 
and activate it in a certain order. Can you not backtrack the other entire way? Pop. 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 I'll try backtracking after this one. Pop. Pop. Okay, so... No. Is there any way you oh, can... Oh, they're all closed. Oh, here we are. Up oh, here comes the jump spook. Oh. Open. No. Here comes another overlay. Up, oh, close, and then open. This game is very atmospheric, and it's giving me goosebumps. Pretty good for an RPG horror. Oh, God! Sounds like Dawn of the Dead type things. Oh, oh that comes, does not sound like Dawn of the Dead. Here comes weird baby laugh screams. Not the baby. Just keep going, I guess. Because you couldn't go back, right? Nope. It's getting very slightly repetitive at this point. It's slightly creepy repetitive. Okay! There's a horde of babies! Run! And there's another horde, so I guess you're just sandwiched between the horde of babies. Well... Not the babies! Jesus, save me please. I'm gonna punch this baby! Well, that was interesting. Why does she keep on turning the lights off? <laughs> Seriously, my greatest fears were realized in winter. The days grew short, and the longer nights merely provided this wretch more opportunities. It was a difficult time for my family. Seriously, do something about it. My grandmother, a wonderfully kind and gentlewoman, had deteriorated greatly since the death of my grandfather. My mother was trying her best to keep in the community as long as possible. However, dementia is a cruel and degenerate illness, a degenerative illness, robbing a person of their memories one day at a time. Soon she recognized none of us, and it became clear that she would be moved from her house to a nursing home. Before she could be moved, my grandmother had a particularly difficult few nights, and my mother decided that she would stay with her. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is wonderful. As much as I loved my grandmother and felt nothing but anguish at her illness, to this day I feel guilty my first thoughts were not of her, but of what my nightly visitor should do once it became aware of my mother's absence. Her, pres her presence being the one thing which I was sure was protecting me from the full horror of this thing's reach. I rushed home from school that day and immediately wrenched the bed sheets and mattress from the lower bunk. Removing all the slates and placing an old desk, a chest full of drawers, and some chairs which we used to keep in a cupboard where the bottom bunk used to be. I told my father I was making it an office, which he found adorable, but I'd be damned if I'd give that thing a place to sleep for one more night. Why didn't he do that before? I guess just the sheer fear and assumption, I don't know. As darkness approached, I lay there, knowing my mother was not in the house. I did not know what to do. My only impulse was to sneak into her jewelry box and take a small family crucifix which I had seen there before. Jesus. While my family were not very religious, at that age I still believed in God and hoped that somehow this would protect me. Although fearful and anxious, while gripping the crucifix under my pillow, tightly in one hand, Sleep eventually came, and as I drifted off into the dream, I hoped that I would awaken in the morning without incidents. Unfortunately, that night was the most terrifying of all. Oh good. Here we are. What I'm assuming is the end. Chapter 5? Urban Explorer. Dora, 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 not exploring. Dora, die, Dora, 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 die, die, die. That didn't rhyme at all. Okay, are we in a school? Pop. Is that a piano? It's just it woof. 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 
Is that a piano? Poster from the play. This is definitely school. Yeah! Fucking sick solo, bro! I love pianos. That's kind of cool when I was on the higher pitch ones, I did a higher pitch. I prefer Choplin myself, but whatever. <laughs> I prefer banging my head on the piano. The feeling that something that something's invading your privacy, even without ill will, is still disturbing. Oh. Fucking dick older brother. Hey. Maybe he has problems too. I'ma go get you! Ah! Go get him! Yeah, I'ma get him. Come here, you little shit. Come back here. Come you can't on. escape. I'm gonna get you. No, I'm invading your personal space. <laughs> into the basement. Or into the sewers, rather. Where okay. is he? Asshole, you're supposed to be on the screen. <laughs> is it a zombie? Uh, left is the choice. Woo! Yeah! Ow! <laughs> Left again. Keep on going left. Yeah, just follow left. It's easier to remember that way. Are we gonna use recycling screens? Yes. So I guess that... it looks like we are. I so guess I'll right. Do right. Yeah, just go completely right this time. Oh. oh, right was the right path apparently. Whoa. That's not too scary of a sound, honestly. Sounds Whoa. like someone's having really bad diarrhea. <laughs> There's no toilet paper! No! Is this... Not, it looks like this one is repeating. Do you have to maybe go back now? Yeah, go back. I guess the center one? Oh, is this if Wait, is this the one you just entered from? Yeah. Huh. I'm gonna keep following the right the path. I guess so, since it seems like you it repeated, yeah. yeah. Oh, there oh, we go. Here we are. Oh, oh good. Oh hey guys. The gang's all here! What are they even? I can't quite clearly see their faces. Are they like aliens? Oh god, you went <laughs> into the altar? I just laid on the altar. Hey, so, is this a good party? Google gobble, Google gobble, one of us, one <laughs> of us. Hands flapping up and down is so stupid. I, 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 are those robes? I think that's like, they're hooded? It looks like they're having a dance party. <laughs> now hey, it's not so much dancing. Hey guys, if I stay here, will you stop, like, screwing up my sleep? Okay, god, bye bye. I decided instead of being chased to death, I'd throw myself at the monster. <laughs> Just let death come. <laughs> That's some fucking sounds for a five-year-old. Happy ending? I'm pretty sure we got the happy end. <laughs> You're awful quiet nowadays. Is something wrong, son? Nothing. Are you sure? Is there something wrong with your new room? Are you lonely without your brother? No. Alright then. I woke gradually. The room was once again dark. As my eyes adjusted, I could gradually make out the window, and the door, and the walls, some toys on a shelf end. Even to this day, I shudder to think of it, for there was no noise. No rustling of sheets, no movement at all. The room felt lifeless, lifeless yet not empty. The nightly visitor, that unwelcome, wheezing, hate-filled thing which had terrorized me night after night, was not in the bottom bunk. It was in my bed. It was me all along! I opened my mouth to scream, but nothing came out. Utter terror had shaken the very sound from my voice. I lay motionless. If I could not scream, I did not want to let it know I was awake. I had not yet seen it. I could only feel it. 
It was obscured under my blanket. I could see its outline, and I could feel its presence, but I dare not look. The weight of it pressed down on top of me, a sensation I will never forget. When I say that hours pass, I do not exaggerate. Laying there, motionless, in the darkness, I was every bit a scared and frightened young boy. If it had been during summer months, it would have been light by then. But the grass of winter is long and unrelenting, and I knew it would be hours before sunrise. A sunrise which I yearned for. I was a timid child by nature, but I had reached a breaking point. A moment where I could not wait, I could wait no more, where I could survive under this intimately deviant abomination no longer. Fear can sometimes wear you out, make you threadbare, a shell of nerves leaving only the slightest trace of you behind. I had to get out of that bed. Then I remembered the crucifix. What crucifix? The one he put underneath his pillow. Oh yeah, that's right. My hand was still underneath the pillow, but it was empty. I slowly moved my wrist around to find it, minimizing as best I could the sound and vibrations caused, but it couldn't be found. I had either knocked it off the top bunk or it had. I could not even think of it been taken from my hand. Without the crucifix, I lost sense of hope. Even at such a young age, you can be acutely aware of what death is, and intensely frightened of it. I knew I was going to die in bed if I lay there, dormant, passive, doing nothing. I had to leave that room behind, but how? Should I leap from the bed and hope that I may make it to the door? What if it's faster than me? Or should I slowly slip out of the top bunk, hoping not to disturb my uncanny bedfellow? Realizing that I had not stirred when I moved, trying to find the crucifix, I began to have the strangest of thoughts. Chapter 6 The Abyss Ooh, pretty. Kind of pretty. <laughs> what is that thing? Oh, that's you. Wee! I'm a fish man. You are literally a fucking fish. Well, it said abyss, so I'm gonna go down. I guess that's the way to go. Oh, no, go straight low. into the bedrock. <laughs> oh, here we go. Good thing you're a fucking fish. Oh, here we go. Don't touch the death traps. Oh, God. What is this bullshit? Are those... Is that a dead body? Drain water and move diving gear? Okay, you're in diving gear. <laughs> Eight-year-old diver. You're a five-year-old diver. No, I'm pretty sure it's eight at this point, and it was a five-year difference between him and his brother. Holy diver! Oh, hey, Dad! I knew it! Dad's an occultist! Dad, can you please stop trying to summon Satan through me? I'm getting really tired of it. Read logbook? One of my biggest fears is deep water. I when you consider the fact that I'm working in a mining station thousands of feet underneath in the marina trench. An actual place. I always wondered why I was afraid and reached a simple conclusion. The true fear presented here is actually going down beneath the surface in the depths. It's a combination of all our fears, or our most common fears. Number one, fear of the dark. When you're at the bottom of a body of water, you can't see anything. It's pitch black. Have you ever tried to swim far down in the lake as you can? It gets really dark, really cold, fast, about 10 feet down. But even that's nothing compared to the deepest point in the entire crust of the Earth located at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, the Marina Trench, which is 38,000 deep. If you put Mount Everest at the bottom of the trench, the top of the mountain would still be over a mile below the surface of the ocean. Everything below you is complete darkness, and this definitely plays into our collective fear of the dark. Oh, how, how long is this? Oh, this is okay, good. I'm gonna just, yeah. <laughs> this is a little bit long. I'm gonna just you can pause the video if you want to read it at this point, but... Should we read it? I... Just move on. It looked like it was just basic uh, sea, um, deep sea lore. 
And if we die because of that, nah. Too much reading. <laughs> Dad, why are, are we both underneath the Mariana Trench? This is bullshit. Oh yeah, that's that cool fish. The anglerfish? Yep. I remember, who was it? James Cameron. Who Dad, down there recently please don't dive into the Satan hole. Let me die first. Yeah. Bye, Dad. Yeah. I'm gonna go see Satan now. Wow, this is pretty slow. Bye, Dad. Bye. Okay, I'm going up, down. Up the edge. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm going in sideways. Wee. Pretty dark. Whoa. Oh. Was that supposed to be a deep sea squid? I don't know, but it ate ya. Cause that looks like a squid mouth. Squid! What if I was asleep? It hadn't so much as breathed since I woken up. Perhaps it was resting, believing that it had finally got me. That I was finally in its grasp. Or perhaps it was toying with me. After it all, it had been doing just that for countless nights. And now, with me under it, pinned against my mattress with no mother to protect me, maybe it was holding off. Savoring its victory until the last possible moment, like a wild animal savoring its prey. I tried to breathe as shallowly as possible, mustering every ounce of courage I could. I reached over slowly, and with my right hand, began to peel the blanket off of me. What I found under those covers almost stopped my heart. I did not see it, but as my hand moved against the blanket, it brushed against something. Something smooth and cold. Something which unmistakably felt like a gaunt hand. I held my breath in terror as I was sure I must now have known that I was awake. Nothing. It did not stir. It felt dead. After a few moments, I placed my hand carefully further down the blanket and felt a thin, poorly formed forearm. My confidence and almost sen twisted sense of curiosity grew as I moved down further to a disproportionately larger bicep muscle. The arm was outstretched, lying across my chest, with the hand resting on my left shoulder as if it had grabbed me in my sleep. I realized that I would have to move this cadaverous appendage if I even so much as hoped to escape its grasp. For some reason, the feeling of torn, ragged clothing on the shoulder of this nighttime invader stopped me in my tracks. Fear once again swelled in my stomach and in my chest as I recoiled my hand in disgust at the touch of the straggled, oily hair. I could not bring myself to touch its face. Although, I wonder to this very day what it would have felt like. Dear God, it moved. Chapter 7. Hostia. Hostia. What's with this dystopian bullshit? It's either the past or in the super future in another planet. Oh, there I am! Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah! Squeaky, 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 squeaky. Whoa, you see that? No, what am I seeing? There. Oh. You should probably move on before that thing gets closer. <laughs> that's a pretty fucking big thing. Oh, Why? that's wonderful. Can I go inside? Hello. Please let me go inside. Well, can I go inside, past? Inside you go. I'm going inside. Into the fucking flesh mountain. Aye, aye, Bible ghost. Oh, look at the friendly ghost. Probably going there. Hi, eyeball. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Cool. Tell me, oh great elders. Okay, this is kind of a little off track, but I have a fucking synthesizer that plays that exact same fucking noise. The fucking laugh. Oof, 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 oof. Yeah. It, it threw me off just a little bit. And scared you at the same time, right? I guess. <laughs> Hi. Oh, that's a cool little thing. Neat. 
fucking dystopian horror. Ooh. Do you have something to say, Mr. Flesh Mountain thing? No? Okay, bye bye, I guess. On to the right. And. Oh, yeah! Fat half corpses in a tub? At a crossroads in life, what does one do? Stand at the crossroads if you will, but if you'll not choose, I'll move on without you. And having once chosen never to seek to return to the crossroads of that decision. For even if one chooses wrongly, the choice cannot be unmade. Okay, you, you enjoy your blood hot tub bath. I guess this is the crossroads. Oh, I guess we chose wrong. I'm not turning back though. Oh. You lied, fat man. Oh, that you was wrong. Dang it. Go back to the fat man? Okay, then I guess continue onwards to being blocked off yet again. Wait, aren't those the things that appeared in that weird factory place? Maybe. Do I have to go backwards now? I guess, there's no other way. It's probably gonna stop you before you actually leave or something. Wait, go back to that? Uh, what does one do? Stand at the crossroads if you will. Hmm, so maybe just stand in the center? Either that or go backwards. So just sit there for like 5-10 seconds. Mm, nope. Okay, back it is. Oh. Is this going to be a boss fight? This looks like a boss fight. Boss I fight! Go left! Run off screen to the left! Bye, monster! Fuck. Where's my sword? <laughs> well, you better go say hi to it then. <laughs> Lightning bolt! Oh. Whoa. Go talk to it. Talk to it. Help me, help me. Uh, can you... I'm assuming you can't go back the way you came, huh? Well... Fuck. No. Oh. Hey, whatever the fuck you are. I guess kill me? You know what, bro? Just do it. <laughs> Tired of living in this dystopian dream. Goddamn spooky monsters dragging out bullshit. Maybe if I turn my back to the monster, it'll go away. Just ignore it. <laughs> no, you're not happening. Damn it, Cthulhu. Just not Cthulhu. Cthulhu's a bro. It moved. It was subtle, but in its grips on my shoulder and across my body strengthened. No tears came, but God, how I wanted to cry. As its hand and arm slowly coiled around me, my left leg brushed along the cool wall which the bed lay against. Of all that happened to me in that room, this was the strangest. Whoa. Hey, alien creepy monster thing. I realized that this clutching, rancid thing, which drew great delight from violating a young boy's bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's pretty funny was not entirely on top of me. It was sticking out from the wall, like a spider striking from out its lair. Ooh. Suddenly its grip moved from a slow tightening to a sudden squeeze. It pulled and clawed at my clothes as if frightened that the opportunity would soon pass. Punch it in the face! I fought against it, but its emancipated arm was too strong for me. Its head rose up, writhing and contorting underneath my blanket. I now realize where it was taking me. Into the wall. I fought for my dear life. I cried suddenly, noticing my voice return to me. Yelling, screaming, but no one came. Fuck dad. <laughs> God damn it, dad. Then I realized what it was so eager to suddenly strike. Why this thing had to have me now. Mama's back? Through my window, that window which seemed so, to represent so much malice from outside, streaked hope. The first rays of sunshine. I struggled further, knowing that if I could just hold on, it would soon be gone. As I fought for my life, then an unearthly parasite shifted, slowly pulling itself up to my chest. Its head now poking out from underneath the blanket, wheezing, coughing, rasping. I do not remember its features, I simply remember its breath against my face, foul and cold as ice. As the sun broke over the horizon, that dark place, 
that suffocating room of contempt was washed, bathed in sunlight. I passed out from its scrawny fingers as its scrawny fingers encircled my neck, squeezing the very life from me. I woke to my father, offering to make me some breakfast. Wonderful sight indeed. I'd survived the most horrible experience of my life up until then and now. You want some scrambled eggs? Dad, why the fuck when you wake up to my screaming? I, I, I sleep pretty hard. Dad, right? you're a fucking asshole. Oh. I moved the bed away from the wall, leaving the, behind the furniture I believe would stop the thing from taking a bed. Little did I think it would try to take mine and me. Weeks passed without incident, yet on one cold, frostbitten night, I woke to the sound of furniture where the bunk beds used to be, vibrating violently. I lay there, sure I could hear a distant wheezing coming from deep within the wall, finally fading into the distance. The following year, I was given a larger room on the other side of the house, and my parents took that room as their bedroom. They said they didn't need a large room. Just one big enough for a bed and a few other things. They lasted ten days. We moved on the eleventh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. They went through the same thing? So it's a shit house. Duly noted. It's a Satan house. What the fuck is with this house? Yay! Well, that was interesting. Can I still move? Oh. oh. Well, fucking goddammit. Uh, can you go north? I'm going south and down to hell. Okay, down south we go. So, up until this point, this game has been pretty creepy. I guess we're going to go into the inn. Eight million ways to die. I guess that was kind of one of the inspirations. Based on the story Bedtime, there it is, by Michael Whitehouse. Pretty cool credit screen. So if you kind of like that shit, then uh, maybe that's your book to go for. Okay, yeah, this is a basic end screen. Alright, I gotta say, this is actually a pretty fun little... <laughs> this is our first experience with RPG Horrors, and I gotta say, it's pretty fun. Uh, compared to the first game we played, uh, the first game was kind of fun all around. This one was kind of freaky. <laughs> yeah, we played Ghost Gate first, and Nick got an easy game, I got yeah, the horror part scary game. game. The end. Is there gonna be a question mark or something? There's space for one. Oh, it's... Next. All right. All right. Okay, so that has been It Moves. That was pretty freaky, pretty atmospheric. I'd have to say over the entire thing, the second level was probably actually the most freaky. I gave that a 7 out of 10 spooks. It's pretty spooky. Uh, give a hand of spooks. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, <laughs> 7. Uh -huh. that, that's as many spooks as it's worth. Okay. All right, bye, guys. Uh, Blight of Fright, night 2. Night 2.